Hey, 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 what's up, bro? It's your boy G Trump. Everybody said Baby Dad's voice to the street, man. And today we in. We go be in Atlanta with it, y'all. Now, check this out, y'all. Freaking news, freaking news, freaking news. Although this ain't new, y'all. Now, check this out. We got another woman, y'all, coming out of world work, suing T.I. and Tiny. And I just got this from my man, the <laughs> good educator man, just sent me this here, brother. I shout out to her educator. <laughs> and I listened to the story, man, and I'm like, let me tell y'all something. This ain't new. T.I. and Tiny been tag teaming and drugging bitches since goddamn it. T.I. came out with something serious. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> they been doing this, y'all. Listen, they known to have, listen, y'all think Puff Daddy have some wild parties. Shit. T.I. have some wild parties. Now, although T.I. and them ain't as reckless as Fuff Daddy and them, or should I say, T.I. and them fuck bitches at their party. That's the only difference. But they drug hoes and do everything. But check out T.I. how slick he is. Him and Tiny, y'all. They goes out and kick it. And Tiny picks the woman up, and they drug the woman, and they both fuck her. They go somewhere, fuck her, and then they, that's how they do. It was another chick that they had did this to. Remember, she was on there crying and all that shit. She got her own little reality show and everything. Y'all know, Sunny. I know who. You fuck with that boy. Uh-huh, you fuck with that boy. Yeah, yeah. She on some reality show. She needs something like that. But this is another one come out. Look, when T.I. had bought that house for Tiny Them in California, do you know T.I. Them had been accused of raping, kidnapping, and drugging 30 fucking women, y'all. You hear me? 30 women. Allegedly. And I ain't even got to say it allegedly because they went to the police station, y'all. But the statute of limitations, a lot of that shit had ran out on and they didn't charge them. A lot of this shit happened and then it always take one person to come forward and then here come the floodgates. He fucked me too, me too, me too, me too, me too. Half of these women, the reason they didn't want to say nothing. It's because they put themselves in this position. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. If you don't want to fuck a man, you shouldn't go to the hotel with him. Straight up. That just, what the fuck you think y'all going to the hotel for? It's 2 in the morning. And although, no means no. By no means should somebody take advantage of you or take your little cat. It's yours. You give it to who you want to. And if you don't want to give it to them, that's just it. So if you want to be buck naked and say no, hey, he still don't have the right to say, Bitch, I'm hard. Let me get it. No. No means no. But check this out. This is the play how it went down. T.I. and Tiny went to a party. They run into this chick. Tiny slides up on the chick, holler at her, yeah, yeah, you know, you want to holler at me, you know, and let's go to the hotel, yeah, you know, me, me, you a tip, we finna go just relax, girl, get us a drink or something, you know, snort a little cow or something, you know, they said she fuck with that shit allegedly, you know, they said she will snort some cocaine, though, so long as you got <coughs> some of that shit, ooh, we, so a bitch might want to get a pot of her nose or something, you know, that's what they say allegedly, this, 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 this what I heard, now, I'm telling you, this what I heard, now. They said, Tiny like that cocaine, man. So this would make them be doing a whole wild thing. And T.I. probably don't give a fuck. Now you be wondering how these actors stay together so long. Yeah. 
Same way with Bill. Listen, if you had a bitch going out and giving you a hoe and you letting her suck the dick while she, this bitch snorting cocaine and getting her pussy ate, that'll keep y'all relationship together too. She be saying, I ain't even got to suck his dick. I'm going to snuck me some cocaine. This bitch going to eat my pussy and suck his dick and goddamn, I'm going to go to sleep. Hell. But anyway, Tiny fixed the woman up, y'all. Tiny, hit that like button, man. And subscribe to the channel if this your first time, man. I'd like to welcome everybody tuning in from the podcast over there, too. So, look, Tiny fixed the woman up at the hotel. They go back to the hotel, y'all. They kicking it. And Tiny and the girl go in the bathroom. They take their clothes off. And they finna get in the shower. And guess what? All of a sudden, Chip come in there. He buck ass naked. Johnson, stand up. <laughs> da 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 da. Salute. Y'all remember Vinnie Hill? Da 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 da. He come in there. His Johnson Mercy is standing at attention, y'all. He is ready. He is ready. He is ready. She still don't think none of it. Okay. They gets in the bathroom, they gets in the shower. Take them a little shower. She don't say what they do too much. They bump and grind in there, rub on each other, do whatever. Okay, they trying to do, then they say, okay, let's step out. They goes in the room and have a drink. They rubbing on each other. And uh, she massaging tip. She said, you know what? No. That's how I she didn't want to do it. She I like, oh, you don't want to do it? Okay, fuck. No means no, he stopped. They trade places, now they end up in the bedroom. She get up, y'all, and says she got to throw up. She runs in the bathroom and throw up. Now, I almost missed the part, y'all. When they got out the shower, <laughs> listen, she started massaging him, and they doing their little thing. Now, Tip, somehow, I don't know, not I heard his thumb, but Tip took his toe, y'all. You hear me? And I said it right, the toe, the big toe, and stuck it in her pussy. You know, Tip getting up in age, so his dick might have went down a little bit. Thumb might be broke or something. Nigga ain't had nothing else hard but his goddamn toe, y'all. You heard the big one. So he put his foot in it. <laughs> he tried to fuck her with the big toe, y'all. I guess he thought the bitch was so high, she wouldn't notice it. But he had to clip his toenails, y'all. And when he stuck that foot in that pussy, he snagged and snagged. Ow, yo! Uh-uh! See, now! He, he nicked the bitch with the toenails. See, you should have got your manicure, T.I. Mm-hmm. Yeah, T.I. cut that bitch with that toenail. See that long, eight long toenail? He scraped the pussy up. Now she mad. She like, no! Stop it! He like, alright. Yeah, so after that, he, she, <laughs> she gets up. Ugh. She thought about that damn toe in the pussy, plus it's bleeding a little bit. She went in there threw up. Ah! That was the drugs hitting her, y'all. Because they had spiked her drink for real. So when she come back out, she tired. And she want to lay down. I think you done said no from a man putting his foot in your pussy. Bitch, you should have put your clothes on and been trying to exit. Because if a man put his foot in your pussy, he don't care too much about you. And then, so, she said she lay down, whatever happened, she don't remember. She said she just woke up, and her vagina was in pain. It was hurting a lot. And you know it was throbbing and itching. She's telling this to the authorities, y'all. She's trying to insinuate that I might have been fucked while I was asleep. So I woke up and my pussy was hurting and it was itching. It was itching because there was a foot in it, bitch. That's why I was itching. Yeah, he stuck his toe in it. Did you not know? He stuck his toe in your pussy, bitch. Tell me when the last time you had a toe stuck in your pussy. 
And yeah, you might have got fungus off the toe until you touched it. That's why it's itching. It ain't because he did it up or nothing. It's itching because it's a toe bend in the pussy, bitch. And he probably ain't clipped his toenails. He got fungus down. Oh, uh, damn tip. Why you do that to the bitch, T.I.? And Tony, you let him do that. You know you could have manicured that nigga before you let him stick that foot in that. You should have told him, tip, stick the right foot in that. You know your left foot ain't getting clipped. You know, I forgot to clip the other toenail tip. Go on, don't stick that one in there, tip. Stick the other one in there. But no, no joke, y'all. This is what she said happened. So, she wakes up and she hurt and pussy just itching. And she them fell out and she wake up. It's the security bodyguard. Now, T.I. and Tiny then jumped up, got dressed, and phew, they gone. She, she's still at the hotel. Security and the bodyguard had to wake up. All right, come on, bitch, let's go. She wake up. She probably looking around and she ain't no money on the dresser. They didn't leave me nothing. Are you serious? He put his foot in me and I don't get nothing. They didn't even leave no cocaine on the dresser. Oh my god. These dirty motherfuckers, they should at least left an eight ball or something on the table. She probably, there ain't even nothing on the table, man. They stop, damn, man. She ain't nothing to snort. I can't even get a bump this morning. Y'all ain't shit. Yeah. You should have never went back to the hotel with them. What you thought? Maybe what you thought? I'm going back to the hotel with Tiny and her husband. Ain't nothing gonna happen. I mean, it ain't but 30 women accuse them of drugging and raping them. I should be alright. I'll be the 31st one. I don't. I know they ain't going to 31. Don't you know? Check this out. This happened from, let me see, March, April to May. Yes, they insinuated from March, April to May. Allegedly, they was fucking women doing all that time. So that means one day, <laughs> they fucked a bitch every day of the week. You hear me? They went strong for one month every day of the motherfucking week. They fucked the bitch. They got on the road one day. Now, these are the women who reported. 30 of them. I don't know how they got the time limit messed up. 30 women, and they all reported it late. Whoever encouraged them to start going for it and telling the police, they told them too late. Because it, it's a statute of limitation on rape. And on uh, sexual assault, or uh, depending on what you calling it, she's not calling it rape. She calling it like uh, assault, a uh, sexual assault, or something. It's under rape, so it ain't that serious. And they like, look, you didn't rush and do it. It's too late for a rape kit. What you want us to do? It's your word against his. And these guys are superstars. They threw thirty women paperwork away. Like, all right, well. I heard you say he did it, but next time, record it, or as soon as you uh, get fucked, you need to come straight down here and do your rape kick. Ladies, if this ever happened to you, and you wake up and you think something has happened to you, you go and have a rape kit done. Immediately. I mean, as soon as you wake up, don't try to call these motherfuckers, see if they gone, see if they left you nothing. If you wake up and they gone, hey, and you don't feel right, you go straight to the police station then and tell them what happened. And they'll scrub that little pussy and you'll find out if you got damn it, uh, been tampered with or not. They at least tell you if you got a toe fungus in the pussy, god damn it. Listen, they will let you know. They'll be like, oh, bitch, you just gonna need some powder. We got to freak down there for athlete feet. Now, T.I. can get a bitch athlete feet in the pussy. Boy, you new niggas done started some new shit on kicking it. And T.I. old fool. Oh, my God, Tip. That's what you been on, Tip? 
I ain't not the tip to get to this athlete's feet in the pussy, y'all. Oh my God, somebody tell T.I. and tell him to call me. I need to know what type of satisfaction you was getting out of putting your toe in the pussy tip. Cause shit, I might want to dip my little toe in there, God damn it, shit. You know, sometimes I'm feeling like God damn it, uh, dancing with my little feet or something. Mm, what the fuck? You know, Chicago nigga like to get out. We got that footwork and shit, boy. Shit, nigga hit that little footwork. Pussy, y'all. Oh my God. Tip, what happened to putting your foot up a bitch ass? What if she fucked up and you turned around and just kicked the bitch? You put your foot in the pussy tip. Maybe you were trying to kick the bitch and <laughs> she turned around and you took, oh shit, oh I'm sorry. I was trying to kick you in your ass, babe, but you turned around. God damn it. And Tiny, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Y'all be the same yourself. If I wasn't a good boy, I'd say I'd just want to stick my dick in your mouth one time, but that'd be wrong. I don't be trying to be like Charleston White. Then I got a woman and might say, damn, damn, nigga, you just said that, really? Shh, I didn't say that. I did not say that. Mm -mm, I didn't. I really didn't mean to say that, y'all. Don't tell nobody, nobody. Hit that like button, y'all, and subscribe to the channel. And let me know, though, all joking aside, y'all, I'm just voicing, all joking aside, though, this is really serious, y'all. Uh, ladies, let me say this. Don't put yourself in a situation you go regret later. You know what I mean? Because it's dangerous out here. Sometimes, do you know if these guys rape you, they celebrities, and they get in that hotel? If they scared you go tell, you see a bodyguard woke you up. What if T.I. them fled the scene and said, hey man, I need you to break this bitch neck, man, and get on up out of here. Destroy any record of us being here. Break this bitch neck. You'll be dead. You sleep while they left? Yeah, they drugged you with something. They couldn't even wake you up and, hey, baby, hey, you all right? Hey, sis, they should have woke you up and said, hey, baby, we finna get out of here. Uh, you know, we enjoyed it ourselves. You had a good time. Okay, you got Tiny number? Okay, because don't call me, bitch. Call Tiny. Don't call me. Okay, you all right? You got cab fare? How you getting home? You got a car? You know, they don't even care how the bitch get home. You know, but I guess if you stuck your foot in the bitch, <laughs> he probably said, man, I told fuck that bitch on the first night, she ain't on nothing. Now, it's bad enough for a nigga to stick a dick in there. But nigga stick his toe in you, he ain't got no respect for you ladies. Mm-mm. None. And now I hear the new woman be talking. Girl, he was fucking me thumb and ass. I ain't even putting my thumb up there. Thumb and ass. I'm not doing no shit like that. That's just crazy. And the bad part about it is once you hear one person say something, you hear another one say something. And everybody want to be like somebody else. It's like monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see, monkey do. That's just crazy, y'all. That's just really crazy, man. Hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. You know, subscribe to the channel, man. You know, I'm doing good, y'all. I'm relaxing, staying out the way. I just talked to my baby, man. She said she's doing all right. My daughter, I told y'all, she got hit by a car the other day. You know, she's doing all right. You know, I talked to her for a few minutes, you know. <laughs> and, uh... My sister be laughing at me. She said, I got an ego and I, I'm conceited. Sure, my God. You know, self-esteem is high. You think I got self-esteem. You should see my baby. How much I done pumped into her. 
And she's a beautiful woman too. She's getting up there. I just sent the picture of her. I was saying, look at what I've made. Lord, look at this fine woman. She like, thank you, daddy. And I talked to her on Instagram one time. And uh, I was saying, hey, baby, you know daddy loves you. She said, I love you too, daddy. And you know with somebody else like, oh, my God, that's so cute. She talking to her real daddy. Because, you know, it's not a lot of us out here, y'all. It's not. My daughter tell me this all the time. She said, Daddy, none of my friends got daddies. And I, y'all heard me say this. I said, they got daddies. They just not around. Or whatever the reason was. And I always tell her, you thank your mama for that, keeping up with me. You know, because I was going through a lot of hustling in and out of jail at that time. But I'm the one bringing the money, so she I always made her life better. She used to hate when I went to jail, you know. She used to hate when I went to jail. But I tell you how she is. She can be having a good day if she don't need nothing, everything perfect, cool. But if something ain't going right, daddy get a phone call. And I don't mind that because when I don't hear from her, She'll check in, but if I don't hear from her, I know everything going all right. Because soon something start going wrong just a little bit, I get a goddamn phone call. You know, I don't care what it is. Daddy, this guy in the car won't move in front of me. Now, baby, the light red, he's finna move. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, you know, that's what it is. Hmm? Be a father to your child, you know. You know, and let me just say this, daddies, don't be letting the woman run you away, because they'll try to do that. You know, a lot of times they get a new man, and they try to act like they hate you or don't want you around. Fuck that. You stick around. If you got to go through the mama, you got to go through the sister. See, it takes two people to argue. Stop arguing with the baby mama. You got to learn how to maneuver around. I told you, I said, if you got to make friends with the guy, if not, if she got a sister or a mama, you pull up on the mama at work or somewhere, you know, catch sister somewhere, hey, I want to bring my daughter or my son or something, hey, give this to your sister, this a hundred dollars or for them. Or oh, it's his birthday coming up, I brought the present, but you know your sister, how she be tripping. Here, take this to him. And you keep doing that enough, she go want your presence back. Because she going to be like, damn, why you keep pulling up on them? I said that about the guy. Eventually. Because once she see you ain't trying to fuck her, see, that's all it be. It's control. They want to control you first. But once she see it ain't about no control, I could care less about your pussy. I'm trying to be there for my child. She'll cut that shit out. See, sometimes you got to make people grow up. And then people can only be smarter than as their parents. You know what I mean? If their parents had that in them and they was just bitter and all that, they'll make them bitter like that. You know, they'll make them bitter like that. But your job is to not never get like that. Don't let nobody run you away from your child because they need us, y'all. They need us. And if you start thinking about Section 8 and aid and welfare and all that shit, all that shit is designed for the single woman. They do not want a male around. If they pay her rent, Section 8, they don't want you living in the house. You can't be there. If she on aid, she got to put you up on child support and all that extra shit. She don't got to, but she do it because they threaten her. Uh-uh, you not, you don't go tell me you had a one-night stand. Every woman in here said they had a one-night stand. Y'all go stop doing that, and y'all not going to get no check. Don't let no bitter bitch tell you that. Be like, bitch, how you going to tell me who I fucked? I was just at a birthday party. I was enjoying myself. I wanted some dick, and I got it. Don't tell me, bitch, I didn't have a one-night stand when I did. You got to be tough and be like, bitch, go hard at her.
go hard because people, I swear to God, y'all, black folks, we the only people make shit hard for ourselves, man. You hear me? It don't be no white folks doing it all the time. It be us doing it to ourselves. I mentioned this once before, y'all. I had a stepson. He went to jail, right? He had his little friend. They both were down there. It was three of them down there. It's three of them. Now, I go down there because I'm fucking with his mama. They back there in jail, you know. These kids grow up. They listen to everything the OG say. We say don't talk to the police. They not talking to them. But they don't understand. It's a certain thing between talking to the police and telling them shit. You tell them information about yourself, not about nothing else. One nigga was back there. He wouldn't even tell the police his motherfucking name, y'all. You hear me? He wouldn't tell them his name. So when I go down there to get him, one of them, which my girl's son, had told him his name. So we getting him out automatically. It was another one back there who told him that my girl was his auntie. She heard his name. She grabbed him too. The other boy, the police come out there and he was laughing a little bit. He said, hey, man. I said, what's up? Y'all training these boys good, man. I said, what you mean? He said, man, they ain't doing no talking. I said, I'm supposed to be doing no motherfucking talking. What are you talking about? He said, no, nah, man. I mean, this boy is not talking, period. He said, he won't even tell me his name. He said, if he don't tell me his name, I can't get him out of here. I said, well, he not going to talk to you. You take me back there, I can tell him, hey, give me your name so we can get you out of here. He like, no, nah, I can't take you back there. I said, well, he ain't going to tell you shit. Fuck it, you know. So we got one out there and we trying to play and get the other one. Here come the snotty bitch, y'all. Black chick. We like, hey, ma'am, we want to get the other boy. Don't try to get nobody child out if he ain't choice. I'm like, yeah, okay, I heard that, but ma'am, we need to sign. Don't try to sign out nobody child that ain't yours. I said, okay, I heard that. I got my child, but I got my... Don't try to sign out. No. I mean, she kept repeating it. Oh, ghetto bitch. And she going hard with it, y'all. Like we stealing these kids or sex trafficking them or something. So I'm like, fuck it. Okay. Two out of three ain't bad. Now, I was a long, long, long way from where the facility was, y'all. Would you believe I drove all night? It's 2 in the morning. I'm in one of my partner's car. He ain't got no motherfucking turn signals on his car. And I ain't got no license. And I done drove all the way down here to get these kids out of jail because I'm fucking with their mama. And this bitch didn't want to give me one. I done drove all the way back home, y'all. I am a block away from my house in the phone room. It's the bitch who told me don't sign nobody out, y'all. Hello? I said, hello, Maurice? Now she want to be my friend. She shot? Yeah. This such and such. Could you get such and such? Can you come and get him? I said, hold on, lady. I know motherfucking well you lying. I said, I was just down there. You acted like I tried to steal that kid. I said, I'm not coming no motherfucking way. Bitch, I'm a block away from the house. I snap, y'all. I can't even remember everything I said. But I know I cussed that bitch from hell and back. God and God damn it, the devil was like, damn, which one you? You go keep him or you want me to keep him? They didn't know what to do. They're like, this is a nice guy, but he's, he could be down here. You want him to keep him? They didn't know. And she, can I talk to the Lord? She said, you can talk to her. I'm going to fuck. She go ask my girl. She said, your boyfriend man. She said, no, nah, he ain't mean. He just mad. We did just come from down there. You know what I mean? We did have just come from down there, y'all. So 
So you know, I pulled up um hot, y'all. Now we had a cop we used to, uh park in the back, right? So it's a backyard where you bag in the yard and everything. So I pulled in the front and got out and went in the house. So you know, they didn't say nothing to me. The kids, everybody, cause they know. Leave me the fuck alone, let me calm down. But if they were smart and observant, they would have knew. Shrimp go go back out because he left his car out. If he was going to be in for the night, he'd have put it up. I left it on the street, you know. So I went in my room, had to calm down. like <sighs> Relaxed for a minute. I think I ate. Sat down for a minute, just chill. And calm down, cause when you get upset, y'all, and you gotta cuss somebody out, that's negative energy. You know what I mean? That's negative energy. And once you get that negative energy going, you got to calm down. You got to relax a little while to calm down. And that be the problem with even getting upset. You can't even get no blessings, Harley, when you. Always fussing and complaining about something. You know, stop complaining about everything, y'all. Because it could always be worse. The reason I never be stressed and I'm never tripping on nothing because I know it could always be worse. I got guys doing 30, 40 motherfucking years. They ain't coming home. And I'm at home all because I ran out of pop or I ran out of few dollars or something. I'm going to complain. Are you serious? You ate. You got food. You got a roof over your head. Your heat working. You got a phone, internet, anything you need. You got it. And you complaining about what? You was happy in jail. Don't think these niggas in jail is uh, miserable, y'all. They in there, I mean, they would probably prefer to be home. But they make the best of it. They be in there happy. See, they in there using drugs. Some motherfuckers in there fucking gods. You know? Yeah, you have gods that be wanting to go. Yeah, they be in there. Because when a guy is charming, he's charming no matter where he at. A woman to get up on you and dislike you, period. You know, be like... I like him. He a little bitty guy, but he's so tough. Why is the little guy telling everybody what to do? That fascinates people. And they be looking like he is a little guy. And he tell all these big guys what to do, huh? They be like, yeah. They always be like that. But yeah, you got to let that negative energy out of you, y'all. And you got to let it calm down. And then when I got ready, I'm like, come on, boy. And me and the son went back down there and got his boy. And you know that was that. And I'm like, man, that's crazy. Oh, and let me tell you this, right? When I take him down there to court, you know, they finna throw the case out, right? Now, everybody like, oh, man, you know, they gonna let you come home. You know, you ain't going to jail. The man asked him. He said, hey. I know what you heard, that we ain't going to lock you up, we going to send you home. You know, we got room for one more. He said, now what you think? You, you think we ain't got room for one more? And I'm sitting there, and I just spoke for him much as I can, me and his mama there. But he asked him a direct question. And he's sitting there. And I'm like, he talking to you, man. You know, I can I answered every question I can answer for you, son. He's asking you a question. I said, now is the time you're supposed to be using that slick ass mouth. The time to set the fuck up was when they had pulled you over and had you and you know when you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. That's when you should have set the fuck up. Now is the time for you to be talking. Because he was asking him something. And I'm like, see, you should get clever with the words and be like, hey, they were stealing some shit off the railroad tracks. Had nothing to do with them, y'all. These kids rolled up on the bike and somebody throwing something off the railroad tracks, y'all. And these little motherfuckers go to the boxes and start opening them up. It ain't even they shit. 
They opened him up, and the nigga on the train like, hey, leave my shit alone, but he started throwing shit off the track, like, they had just got some helicopters, like, the helicopter up there, he looked down, like, what the fuck, these niggas hitting the track like we ain't up here, because Chicago don't use helicopters like they do in California, they had just got them, like, man, they called the police, because it was a police cop up there, and they surrounded the whole motherfucking track. The railroad track. He was <laughs> that what my little son said, but they grabbed him. Man, y'all wouldn't have caught us if y'all ain't had them damn helicopters. <laughs> and the police put it in the report. I bet he said, thank you. We just got them motherfuckers. Now we know they working. I'm glad you said that because we're going to keep these motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. They went to cutting trees and shit so they could see. They bring that motherfucker out so they could see. See, this ain't like L.A. L.A., they always catch high-speed chases and all that shit. Some of them niggas want to be in high-speed chases. We don't have helicopters like that. But they got them now. They had bought two of them. They was going to share one. I think, yeah, they had two. They shared them between the sheriff department and the Chicago Police Department. And trust me, they earned their money, man. Now, I ain't gonna talk too long, man. Hit that like button, y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. Let me know what y'all think about Tiny Man and T.I. putting his big toe in the bitch pussy, man. Let me know what you think about that, man. God damn, T.I. T.I. put that fungus in that girl pussy. He know he was wrong for that, wasn't he? He was wrong, y'all. Say it. Put it in the chat. Say it. T.I. wrong. Actually, did he get a bitch athlete feet? Y'all know he did. Mm-hmm. Y'all know he did. Is that something y'all do? Am I getting old, y'all? Is that what we do now? Stick foots in the pussy? Ain't nobody told me. I ain't get the memo. Ain't nobody told me you, you can stick your big toe in the pussy. You can do that? That's allowed. Ladies, you ever had a... You been toe fucked? And see, he should have clipped his toenail, shouldn't he? Mm-hmm. Might have felt good, T.I., but you... Nick that bitch and she had she had the nerve to say her pussy was hurting and it was itching. Yeah, that's that athlete's feet. <laughs> yeah, it was throbbing. But see, that's when you want somebody to believe a story. You trying to sell it. I woke up my pussy was hurting and it was throbbing and itching. Bitch your pussy stop it. Stop it. You know what I mean? T.I. probably said, I didn't even fuck the bitch. Why do you think I had my foot up there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know it. I know it. Tiny might have put that strap on her damn so You better check and find out. Tiny might have been the one who fucked you. Mm-hmm. Hell of a bitty ass. She might have been the one who fucked you. And T.I. might have been asleep. <laughs> Oh shit, man. It's your boy G Chef. Everybody's favorite baby daddy. What's the street, man? I'm a punch and I dig you later. I'm out of here, y'all.